David Smith the used to work on the ice crew I, at the I arena at the, uh, and would run the, uh, into Rick Jenneret quite a but, bit. Uh, he'd always say hi and, and come over and say pleasant things, and he was just a good guy, and he loved the sport. It was obvious in the passion of his, his announcing. When somebody scored, you know, it was especially a big goal, it was, it was like you couldn't help but jump on board. As a player, you couldn't wait to get off the ice to see how he described something. You know, you they talk to the people, the fans, they, they you know, that's... That's what they look forward to. They, they have better memories of the way he described things than the actual play themselves. So he just gave everything he had. And working with him, he was he demanded the people that uh, worked with him give everything they have too. So he, he never took uh, a day off. He never took a shortcut. The respect people have for RJ is clear with the growing memorial at Alumni Plaza and the amount of people sharing memories online. E.J. Butler said he narrated some of the happiest moments of my life these past 50 plus years and provided the hockey soundtrack that'll play in my head forever. He was simply top shelf. The biggest one was the May Day goal. Um, I was just getting into hockey when I saw that live happening and it, it was just the, the play that happened, the person who made the play and the call he made with it, it was just just an incredible memory for hockey, not just the Sabres, not just Rick Jenneret, but he made it special for hockey. On your side in Amherst, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.